Hey everybody, Jason Hodge here, and this is my last fear busting video on how I overcome my fear. Now, each individual fear takes a different technique that I've got to use to get over it. Uh, one, I've already told you about the why question that I ask. Well, why am I afraid of that? I also talked to you about uh, how I ask the and then what questions though what's the worst thing that can happen and then what I also talked about how I leverage the energy and the momentum of a positive community so I get involved with you know positive people who are moving in the same direction I want to move in and overcoming their fears and this last one it actually has worked for me in uh, numerous times and this is you know like when I'm lecturing or uh, doing a training or whatever and I get stumped and usually how that works and uh, I don't even know how I came across this <laughs> technique but it, it just seems so organic that it really worked out okay so I'm, I'm at this college and I was filling in for one of the teachers there right one of the um, I guess professors or whatever and I was giving a health talk. Well, I got in there and totally overprepared for one. You know, I'm like giving some dissertation and I'm seeing people glazing over and I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> so I, I'm sitting there and, uh, you know, of course, the sweat, it didn't pour down my forehead or anything like that. It, it, I sweated internally. You know, that's how good I am. I sweated internally, so nobody saw it. But I was as nervous as you could be. And I was thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm ruining this guy's class. You know, <laughs> I'm never going to be invited back to this college. This is horrible. And uh, so 20 minutes into it, right? And now I think, let me see, was the lecture? It was at least a two-hour I think it was like a two hour class or something. It was ridiculous. And so I ended up like, and my sister was in the class with me. She came as moral support and all the other good stuff, right? And so I um, I am in there and so I, I told everybody, okay, well, hold on one moment, you know, I'll be right back, right? So I'm walking out of the door and I kind of give my sister like the eye like, um, help me so she walks out behind me and then she's like okay so what's going on I said I'm dying in there I'm dying in there I just I, I don't know what's happening I mean you know people are glazing over and I'm like losing it right she's like okay first of all calm down they came to hear you talk and I was like yeah okay and she says and then secondly you've got this I mean you've got the information backward and forward you've been talking about this for like 20 years and I was like I know I know I know she says okay well do you want some water? I was like, yeah, get me some water. So anyway, I go back inside the class and I'm like, okay, well, I, I don't really know what to say. So I told everybody, I said, okay, uh, let's kind of start over here. Um, I said, I'm seeing eyes glazing over. I don't even know if I'm reaching you all. You know, I don't even know if what I'm talking about is relevant. I said, I'm totally nervous right now. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I'm like just not getting it together. And I said, so I tell you what, here's how it'll work better for me. Why don't you ask me the questions that you want to know? And that way, at least I know that I can at least get by with answering your questions. Now, I have used this technique a number of times, and it works like a charm 100% of the time. So, they begin to fire questions at me, right? And so now I'm answering it, and, and the thing is just flowing so well that we ended up going over the break, and people were so enthralled with the information that, you know, they wanted to stay there beyond the break so we took a little break you know truncated the break came back still going at it right people firing questions and it's just this conversation going right excellent energy so we had to get out because the other uh, class was coming in and of course we were getting kicked out but people were still 
asking questions even on the way walking out the door because it just got that interesting to them it got very interesting to me because I felt wow okay yeah what I'm doing is relevant here I'm actually helping people out and they're interested in what it is that I am talking about that's awesome so I mean fast forward I've had to use that technique a number of times and you know just sometimes you get disconnected from your audience from your crowd and you have to be able to be willing to be honest with them and say hey you know what I'm disconnected right now I don't know what it is but uh, I need you to help me out here so what do you want to know uh, worst case scenario is everybody who asks questions can come away with knowing the answer to their question mission accomplished so all of that said ah, over the five minutes not a Steve Gamlin style video okay so all of that said if you just honesty honesty you know has worked wonders for me and it just cuts that fear right out because worst case scenario is that if you tell them and and I figured hey if I am honest with you and you still wanna you know kill me afterwards well you know I can't really do anything about that at least now cats out of the bag you know I'm nervous you know I'm falling apart and so just in saying that I'm no longer falling apart it's kinda like you know if a person says uh, you know you want a person to like you right and then you tell them, hey, please like me, this, that, and the other. And they're like, I'm not going to like you. And you're like, well, I don't want you to like me anyway. I mean, it just t totally changes everything, right? Because you're honest with it. So with that, so long as I'm honest with it, then what ends up happening is that that diffuses everything. Because at that point, I'm like, hey, I've just shown you that I'm a human, okay? So if you can't deal with a human being human and you can't receive from that person the gems that they can give you because you are just so stuck on perfectionism well that's your loss not mine and so after that fear is diffused I'm able to move on and I actually end up having great lectures or great whatever once I get past that point Jason Hodge keeping it real catch you later